In previous videos, I've shown you how to create a calculated field in a pivot table, and this pivot table has two of them. We'll see in this video how to modify or change a calculated field, and also how to remove one. The first calculated field that we have is a very simple one. It just takes the total and multiplies it by 3% to get a bonus for each product that a representative sold. The other one is a little more complicated. It has an if. So if they sold more than 100 units, and that's in this column, then they'd get that total amount by 3%. Otherwise, they get zero. These are just on the worksheet for reference. We can't refer to these cells from within the calculated field. I'm going to change this rep bonus one. So I'll click in there and go up to the Analyze tab, Fields, Items, and Sets. Go into Calculated Field. And when I come in, it's trying to create a new field for me. So it's got a name and a formula ready to go. But I want an existing one, so I'll click here and find the rep bonus. And there's my formula. I want to change this 3% to a 4%, so I'll just select that number, type the new percentage, and click Modify. So now I can go and look at my bonus one, and it's still at 3%. I go back, rep bonus is at 4%. So that's how you modify one. When I click OK, can see now that the numbers in this column are different from the ones that are still using that 3%. I'm going to change the bonus now and make it 4%. So I've just selected a value cell, go into Fields, Items, and Sets, Calculated Field, and find my bonus. And again, change this 3 to a 4 and modify if you want to stay in here or click OK if you want to complete that change and exit. Perhaps I'd like to get rid of that one now that we have this little more complicated one that we'd rather use. To remove it, I'm just going to select the cell again, go back to Fields, Items and Sets, Calculated Field, and find the one that I don't want, so that's the rep bonus, the simple one. Click Delete and OK, and that's gone from the pivot table. It's also removed from this list, the pivot table field list. It still shows bonus, but it has removed our rep bonus calculated field. Now, if I want to hide one temporarily, I can just remove the check mark. So now the bonus isn't visible, but it's still here in this list. And if I go back into the fields, items, and sets, it's still in my list of calculated fields. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.